The raging wildfires that struck Southern California in fall 2007 destroyed about 1,500 homes. In some heavily damaged areas, flames seemed to leapfrog through neighborhoods, leaving some homes unscathed alongside those that were reduced to ashes. University of California scientists have found that this is not an entirely random phenomenon. Stephen Quarles, a UC Cooperative Extension Wood Durability Advisor, says there's a lot homeowners can do to protect their homes from a wildfire. During a fire demonstration, Quarles explained that there is a general perception that composite materials are much more fire safe than solid wood. That can be true, but in, but as this demonstration showed, it's not always true. And in this case, the the wood plastic composite material burned um, much more readily than the solid wood uh, deck, and the solid wood deck put itself out actually after the the uh, ignition source burned out, and the uh, plastic composite material kept on burning. And actually, after something less than an hour, it became a, a pretty big fire on the deck. And this is the other uh, message that we like to give in doing these demonstrations, and that is usually a home that ignites in a wildfire, the fire that will ultimately ultimately result in the loss of the house starts out as a pretty small fire. So that small fire will get big and it takes time, um, but that fire did get big and it would have been um, transferred to the, to the siding or um, up the wall and maybe broken a window. There would be a number of ways where that fire could have uh, ignited the house and then resulted in the loss of the house. Quarles identifies six priority areas for making changes to existing homes in fire hazard zones. The first priority is the roof. Homeowners should upgrade to a non-combustible Class A roof. Then there are vents. Make sure there are crawl spaces under homes or attics. Get rid of vegetation that's close to the home, under eaves, or near windows. But bear in mind that trees and shrubs farther away can serve as buffers against radiation, convective heat, and flying embers. Next, make sure windows are dual pane with tempered glass. Finally, there's decking and siding. The thicker the deck boards, the better. In research trials, good quality sheathing, which is installed underneath the siding, was key to protecting the home studs. For Science Today, I'm Larissa Brannan.